So I'm begging for you guys to listen to me because I am so sick of seeing people get scammed out of thousands and thousands of dollars from online telehealth companies promising you a version of a compounded semaglutide, a GLP-1, or some sort of weight loss drug because they are lying to you. They are stealing your money. And I had an experience with a client last week that I was like, okay, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to make these videos now because it is too much. I do need to preface by saying I'm not a doctor. I do not prescribe medications. I cannot prescribe medications. And this is not nutrition advice, nor is it medical advice. I am, however, a registered dietitian. I do specialize in eating disorders. And so I have worked with many a clients that have been navigating the world or taking medications like Wagovi, Ozempic, Zepbound, Manjaro, and any of the generics, as well as the compounded versions that were very prevalent in the last 18 months or so. While I'm not a physician and I don't prescribe medications, I think it's really important that people know that Big Pharma is in an arms race right now, and they are all trying to come up with the most effective weight loss drug that can be produced in the masses, that can be consumed easily by the masses, and all of these little clinical online telehealth pharmacies and, and companies are trying to ride that wave, and they are scamming you in the process. So. The best way that I can I can tell you to to try and fight against it is just to be informed. And that's what I tell my clients all the time. So let's go over the basics today of, you know, what are these medications? What are they doing inside of your body? And why these online ads that are targeting you are just straight up dangerous. So I'm just going to, I feel like I've already been too formal up until this point. So I'm just going to treat you guys like a client. Okay. So let's just talk about the GLP-1. Okay. So um, GLP-1 is a hormone that is naturally produced in your body. So when you eat food and you go, mm, 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 your body, your stomach is going to produce that hormone, which signals to your brain, hey, bro, you're full. You feel good. And you're like, yeah, I am full. I do feel pretty good. That's right. Then it's also going to send a signal to your pancreas and go, hey, brother, guess what? Our blood sugar is about to start rising. We need some insulin to help keep things stable. And so... The whole purpose of that hormone being produced is to help with regulating your appetite and stabilizing your blood sugar. And so it's just a natural process that already occurs. So the first thing that was made was Novo Nordisk. They, they hit the market with the semaglutide and that's the brand names Wagovi and Ozempic. And what it is, is it's a large dose of a hormone that mimics the GLP-1 hormone. And so that massive dose that comes in basically lasts for a longer half-life than what that natural hormone would be in your body. Does that make sense? So like, yes, you're already naturally producing this hormone. Well, this medication is, is mimicking that hormone and it lasts a lot longer than that naturally would inside of your system. So because that, that GLP-1 injection sticks around a lot longer than the natural hormone would, your appetite's lower for longer, you are, uh, your stomach's emptying at a lot slower of a rate for a longer period of time. So naturally, it's going to result in weight loss. Um, so then what ended up happening was, is Novo Nordisk had the, had the market on the semaglutide, right? But all of these other big pharma companies were like, oh shit, how are we going to make shit tons of money doing this as well? So they went and they grabbed that medication and then they started to figure out ways that they could find other hormones to make a bigger, badder, better weight loss medication. And that's when Eli Lilly and Terzepatide hit the market. So Terzepatide, which goes by the brand names Zepbound and Manjaro, are owned by the big pharma company Eli Lilly. And it turned out to be a far more effective medication because it targeted two hormones, the GLP-1 that we already discussed, as well as GIP, which is a second hormone that is also secreted, does similar things to the GLP-1, but by targeting both of those pathways at once, it seemed to be a far more effective way for people to not only lose weight, but I have a lot of clients that have their A1Cs drop a lot faster, and there seems to be a lot less side effects with the terzepatide medication than there is with the semaglutide medication. So terzepatide and semaglutide are the only two classes of medications that are approved and FDA approved in the United States right now. So there is, when I talked about Big Pharma's arms race, there is a triple agonist that is in the works. It's called retitrutide. I always say it wrong, but it targets the GIP, the GLP-1, and it targets and it uh, stimulates glucagon, which could be even more effective. It's still in testing phases right now, so it is not FDA approved. It is not out there anywhere, but 
something to keep an eyeball out for. And if you play stocks, might be something to keep an eyeball on if you invest in big pharma. So then here's where I think we should talk about where things went sideways. And that's back in 2023. So not too long ago, the big pharma companies, Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly were unable to keep up with the production demands for the medications. So they both have the patents and the markets on the medications, right? And they're going, yes, 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 give us all the monies. But because the demand for the medication was so high and they were not able to produce as much, the FDA required them to release their medication like formula to compounding pharmacies. So as a registered dietitian working with eating disorders, this is when I think I started to get a huge whiff of the situation that was a brewing because when the compounding pharmacies took over, that's when all the targeted ads started. That's when they began mass producing copious amounts of this medication. And it was as easy as my clients could log on to a telehealth session and do a quick, you know, 10 minute uh, phone call with a physician. And they would have a year supply, a six month supply of a compounded semaglutide or a compounded terzepatide that they would use for weight loss purposes and to manage their food noise, their appetite, et cetera, et cetera. And it was supposed to be a temporary thing to help mitigate where I guess the big pharma companies weren't able to produce as much as the physicians were prescribing. But with this came a huge boom. And I'll say that the FDA did end up having to regain control over the market. And they ended up putting out orders earlier this year. I think it was as of March 10th, they said all of the uh, licensed compounding pharmacies had to stop. And that's when Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly started to begin doing their lawsuits and suing some of these smaller pharmacies that were still distributing the medicine because they were trying to regain their monopoly over the weight loss drug market. So that brings me to today where I wanted to even make these videos in the first place. What kind of inspired me was last week I had a client come in that they've been struggling for a long time, like their whole life. They've been struggling with disordered eating, but especially lately. They went to lunch and everyone at the table was on some sort of injection. Um, everybody was talking about it. It was the topic of conversation. And impulsively, my client decided to take the recommendations of a friend and went online and purchased something called a terzepatide pill. Um, paid over $1,000 for a three-month supply of a pill that I guess dissolves in your mouth. And as it was being described to me in session, I'm going, I... Uh, there are no pills. There, there are no pills on the market, you guys. They are trying to make oral supplementation that are not injections, but there's nothing. She bought them from some slick looking website that said a GLP-1 weight loss system that promised results and said things about, oh, look at all the, the statistics and everything that all these things that are true statistics that were about those regulated medications from the pharmacy that promised the same things with these pills. But it's not terzepatide. I, I, it's not even close. I don't know what they're taking. I, I, I said, you need to go talk to your doctor and you need to let them know what you just decided to put in your body. But I just, I, it, that's what's happening every single day, you guys. And let me tell you, you need to go in. If you don't know what a cookie is, you need to go into your cookies and clear them. And then second, you need to realize that any any website or clinic or online whatever that is advertising any type of, of weight loss medication to you is fibbing. They are trying to take advantage what was a FDA compounding loophole that ended earlier this year and they are trying to ride the wave to get a hold of people who are continuing to be misinformed. So if you take anything from this, the only place that I, I'm unsure about is that one that Serena Williams is, is real. I, I think that that might actually just be an online telehealth that they may just be like an online PCP clinic. I need to do more research on that. I don't know quite what that situation is, but I will let you know when I know. But what I'll say is that you need to go talk to your doctor. Do, you need to understand that anything that you are buying from the internet at this point in time is bullshit and they're scamming you and stealing your money. Point blank. So I'm I'm heated about talking about this. I'm like, I'm over here rolling up my sleeves. I'm like sweating. I'm like, I need to go find a fan to turn on. I am, you guys, this is, it's such a big topic. So I'm, I'm not sure what questions you have. I know I'm running out of time on this 10 minute marker. So uh, please leave questions in the comments. Um, I will, I will do my best with this. I'm going to try and keep this a series, but let me know what you think and we will talk about it more.